it was so bloody powerful. Just having the dialogue from Andrew's novel, Andrea had adapted. May, Mayflies is a, is, a, is a novel by Andrew Hagen. It starts in 1986 um, with this young group of boys. They're all friends. Uh, um, and that's the first part of the story. And the second part of it um, goes like 30, 35 years down the line. There's a phone call one day later on. I, I speak to Jimmy, my best friend, and uh, he tells him some news that, uh, that basically, um, uh, you know, will change his life forever. He has cancer, basically. The Tully has terminal cancer, and it's about how he deals with it, and how, uh, and how, how his friendship uh, is affected with his with his friends, and how they're you know they're brought even closer together. There's also some euthanasia. That's also part of it as well, because uh, Tully decides that he uh, he he doesn't want to live with this uh, terminal illness. He ends up wanting to take his life, and he asks Jimmy, his friend, to. Uh, to help him with that, it's a pretty heavy, yeah, storyline. But it, there's a but there's a lot of levity in it because I think during filming we uh, we needed that, um, and it's definitely in the storyline. I think it helps as well um, to have a, to have a sense of humour. The whole idea of of um, realizing that maybe you have a a terminal illness, whatever it, it may be, or it's, it's some sort of, um, you know, you're losing your, your your memory or Alzheimer's or something. Then, um, you know, in the past, we, we just got on with it. You know, we put our families or our people, our loved ones in care homes. Or people do that, of course they do that. And it's beautiful and it's compassionate and it's empathetic and it's, it, it's, it's human. But there's a new uh, conversation and, and uh, and it's in this, it's in this two-part drama. So, I guess you don't know that until it actually happens to you. But that, that hopefully, that's what we do in the piece. It's not, it's not saying this is the way, that, this is the right way, or that's the right way. I think it gives a very sort of um, um, an open-minded uh, uh, approach or uh, to to what what people could do if if they're put in that situation, if they want to end their life. Played, I've played characters with terminal brain injury or, or someone with um, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, soldiers, SAS soldiers and things like that. But yeah, Tully was quite unique in his, uh, he's, he's such a, a lust for life and he was such a gregarious person. Um, and uh, had, he had this sort of bravado about him, this big, this front of uh, how, you know, how brave he was and how he, he didn't want to, Show show any emotion. Many actors, for emotional you know situations, they tap into loss in their own life. You know, I think and that's something that I did. I thought about my father. I thought about other family members. You can do all that backstory, or you can call it method acting, or whatever you may call it. But when it came to on the day, just having the dialogue from Andrew's novel, Andrea had adapted. It was so bloody powerful um, that uh, you just you just felt like you were that character. You just you tapped into it so 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 deeply that it was um, you couldn't help but um, feel 